Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we continue to walk through the book of Proverbs and just let the wisdom of heaven soak into our souls, into our, into our lives. And we remember in the book of Proverbs that it's a kind of literature in the Bible that gives general truths, but it's not meant to be the absolute laws. So there's times where, where it'll give a general guideline for living, the wisdom of heaven, but it's not saying it'll always work out this way. And this, this is the passages today are one of those situations, one of those passages. And so we're going to look together at Proverbs 14, uh, verses 12 and 15. And the big theme here is one of caution. Listen to the cautions that come through these two passages. Proverbs 14, verse 12 says this. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. There's a warning there. There's a way that appears to be right, but that thing that looks right, in the end, it leads to death. And then verse 15 says this. The simple believe anything, but the prudent give thought to their steps. These both have a similar theme that's addressing the topic of kind of how we move forward in life when things seem safe. Uh, we raised our three boys on a little pond. There was a little pond behind our house. It was the kind of the back lot line of about seven or eight homes. So it was sort of a city retaining water. We called it a pond, but it was kind of a water retaining area. But it, but it made a little pond. You could put like two, uh, two ice hockey rinks on this little pond. And when winter would come, you could look out at the pond and you go, oh, it's totally safe. But the ice is thick and it looks great. There's, you know, it's frozen. It's been frozen long enough. But I never just said to the kids, go out and play on the pond. I'd go out there and hit the edge of it with a stick and then I'd kind of stomp on it. We'd put on our ice, hockey, our, our, our ice hockey skates and kind of stomp on it because the weight of a foot like this and the weight of a blade like this, the blade has more potential to crack the ice. And I would be really careful because there was a way that seemed right, that seemed safe, but it could lead to death if that ice was not as thick as I thought it was. There's a danger if we think we have enough wisdom to figure things out. So, so here's a few insights from these passages from Proverbs 14, 12, and 15. At first glance, Sometimes things look good, but at closer inspection, we realize that if we're not careful, what looks good could lead to death. Here's a few thoughts. Don't buy too fast or jump into a deal too quickly. Boy, that seems almost too good to, to be true, but I got to jump in. I got to, boy, that, 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 that interest rate of this speculative thing, we can become rich in three months or six months. Be careful. Maybe but there's a way that seems right, and at the end it could lead to financial death. It could, I, I have friends who have lost most of their life savings in opportunities that looked fantastic, a way that seemed right, but in the end it led to their financial demise, and they're still living with some of the consequences of that. Before you jump, before you step into something new that you're super excited about, slow down. Is this thin ice? It looks fine. Look closer. There's times where the, the door opens for a great opportunity. Wonderful. Just don't get suckered in. And so here's a couple of thoughts today about this idea that there are, there's a way that could seem right, it could seem good, it could seem life-giving, but it's dangerous. First, just learn to slow down. That new relationship, you meet that person. Oh, I, I finally met the man of my dreams. I finally met the woman of my dreams. Maybe, but Proverbs says that might be a nightmare. <laughs> Take your time. Make sure. Your first glance isn't always right. Your first intuition isn't always godly. And so there's a warning here, and I would give you that warning today. That new purchase, that sudden purchase, that, that opportunity. Just dial back, slow down, seek the Lord, and if God is leading, that door will still be open. But you might find out that that way that seemed right, that seemed good, that seemed life-giving, is actually quite dangerous. Let's pray for wisdom to discern those moments. Living God, uh, we come across a lot of things in life, and sometimes things look really good right away. And sometimes they are. But God, sometimes we find ourselves in huge trouble because we jumped too quickly. We, we skated out on the ice when it looked like it was fine, but we didn't take the time to make sure. I pray for each person listening today to be patient, to move at your timing, when you're opening a door, when something is from you, they'll know it and they'll step forward with boldness. But Lord, that we would not in our own wisdom jump into things that could cost us and those we love in ways we can't even imagine. Give us your wisdom and lead us into a life that honors you in every way we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thank you for joining me for these few moments together. Uh, if you are part of Shoreline Church, we have church this coming Sunday at 9 and 11 online and on campus. Come and join us. If you're part of another local church, jump into your church. Be part of the body of Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.